Welcome back everyone, it's me, Fluttershy BG. And today we have another video. That's right, I'm playing One Punch Order. Yes, the very toxic Storm Crown Aftershock build. One of my favorite builds to play in the jungle. It's very intense, very good, really fun, really cheap when playing against squishy enemies. And also very useless if your team is fucking retarded. So today we have a very special occasion because I'm not playing by myself. I play with Gris on my team as Ringo and against Super64 as Baron. If you don't know these guys, they're really cool guys to be honest. Super, he streams on Twitch sometimes and he's a really chill guy. Well, Gris is more of an intense guy when it comes to the game itself. He goes try hard every single game. And he has a very selfish style, more selfish than me, to be honest. I'm more of a team. No, I will describe my style more like a selfish early game, or more like team based, uh, mid and late game. But he's just completely selfish style, and that's not bad. That's actually good, especially in community edition. So this time we're playing with Arjun, and my job is to get my store brand as fast as possible. Yep, that's me. While protecting the Ringo, and the Ringo already took a lot of damage, but I mean it's a Lance, and he made some good trades. The Lance was also low, and that's very fucking great to see. That uh, fucking mid laner, I mean bot laner, fighting against the Lance, making him go back to base immediately—that's so fucking rare. Usually it's all the way around, so I'm actually proud of this matchup. So I'm just here. For Bodyguarding this Ringo because I want to take all this free gold. And there's not much to do during this early phase of the game So I'm just here Letting him do his thing Lance comes around I use my banker, but it's not enough. He gets Rooted and then Taka comes out of nowhere Taka rotates to his top lane which is fucking rare I don't know why will this guy rotate this early on maybe because there's a Samfang on the other lane probably he thinks it's more worth going for the Ringo than the Samfang but to be honest that's a terrible mistake especially when your bot laner is a Baron so we got very lucky our mid laner got killed but it doesn't matter I go immediately balls deep trying to make a trade and I got the Warhawk, huge move by me. I'm not letting him go alive without getting punished by for killing our mid laners to be honest, especially a star. So I'm still low, it doesn't matter, I use my banger, I go and try to take this minion as fast as I can. To then go into the bot lane and help my Ringo. That's how it goes. You know the basic drill when you're a jungler. You wanna take your jungle as fast as possible. You don't wanna deny your jungle. If you neglect your jungle for too long, either someone's gonna take it or your own teammate is gonna take it. So you don't want to you don't want to neglect that shit. As soon as you see it, you take that shit. So I really go the lance. I bang with the Ringo. He doesn't get hit by Lance. So Lance immediately dies. So that was a good rotation by me. I got lucky that Chris had already that Lance already at low health. So I just have to show it up to outmatch him. Very simple, not too hard. The only issue right now is Taka's position. We don't know where he is. Doesn't matter. Again, my storm crown very important. You want to get your storm crown as fast as possible. It gives you cooldown, it gives you health, it makes you farm so much faster. It means that your rotations are extremely fast, and the sooner you get it, the better. The more damage it does. It falls off late game, but it's really good early game. And you really cannot do anything to it because it helps you take objectives. So here is Taka again at our bot lane which is kind of dumb considering that they have a, a baron so i don't want these guys to leave 
without getting punished. So I killed the lance, and that's that was kind of a, like okay trade. But I'm more, I'm more concerned about Taka getting killed. So even though I'm low health, I'm being patient and getting my storm crown to punish him. I use my Bangor, I use my flask, and then he runs away. I knew where he was because of the bullet, the minion bullets following him. But I didn't have my cooldown for my B, so I wasn't able to punch him to death. So that was terrible. I was not able to do a double trade. Uh, but at least I was able to get a kill. I killed Lance after they killed Ringo. So they got punished for killing Ringo. So that's a good thing. So here I am back at the jungle. Same thing. Clear this son of a bitch as fast as I can. Ringo is here. I helped him with the minion. Easy. I just use my Bangor to prevent him from taking any necessary damage. My Bangor's are not strong, but they can help a little bit. Easy. I see that there's nothing to do, I immediately go for my boots. I see the Warhawk, I punch him. I try to kill him, but he had the flask. So that means that our mid laner didn't harass him enough him to blast before and that's something I really hate like I don't like when teammates don't tell me if enemies have blasts or not so I immediately rush over top to help Sam Feng with Sam Feng got the kill so everything Gucci it's actually questionable that they have like, two fucking mid laners Silver Nail and Warhawk. But this community edition, what do you expect? Go back road lane. I see Lance. I really punch him. He tries to use his V on me. I use my Bangor on the fin. So he can move a little faster. And land his A on Lance. It worked. But it was not a lot of damage. And Taka showed up again. We don't give a shit. Taka is not doing anything to us. I'm staying close to Ringo, he's pushing, so he's exposed. Taki shows up, I immediately bunker him. He was not fast enough for when he was using his ultimate, but still it was something. He flasks. He, he tries to harass Ringo again and I just basic attack him with the strong crown and I push him for just attempting to get close to Ringo. He knows he cannot do anything to Ringo because I'm around, so he just runs away. Good for us. No more bullshit. I punch the minion to help Ringo take it faster, and then immediately go for my minion. So as soon as he's done with his, I'm done with him, and then I can keep rotating. Jungles, you need to rotate fast. That's the drill. Ishtar was able to kill Baron, but you know Taka is just a no fucking son of a bitch. So he killed her, but it doesn't matter. My priority here is Ringo because Ringo is the one who's gonna carry late game. So the, the Lance is playing too aggressive, so I punish him for it. I Vanguard the Ringo so he can move a little faster, and then I punch him again. Keep harassing him. I'm punching the minions not because I want to help Ringo take them faster. What I'm doing is so I can get the cooldown on my punch faster because every time Arden punches something, his, the cooldown for his punch lowers by like one second, I think. So it's just to lower the cooldown. So it's a good thing to hit the minions to lower your cooldown, not because you need to help your teammate. So here he goes, he uses his B, he exposes his back, and then I punch him again to do more damage. His land has damage reduction. And then he made a terrible trade. He tried to defend the turret. He made a terrible mistake by not leaving the turret. To be honest, never do that shit when you're top laning. If your turret is gonna go down, just let it go down. Never fucking stay there and die with the turret. That's a terrible trade. So now we're done with mid turret. I mean bot turret. So that means that Ringo is now free to rotate. And the same goes for Lance. 
We see the Taka. I Bangor my teammate, Sam Feng. So Taka can hit him and then I get my cooldown back. I was expecting to kill this Baron, but he had fucking flask. So that means that no one harassed him enough for him to not have his flask. We see the Taka, we try to steal the healing. It doesn't work. I stay on the bush to Bangor the, the Sang Feng if Taka tries something funny he tries to do something funny and Sang Feng just hits him with a burst so he didn't really need me so everything is all right all cool all Gucci trying to take the jungle again fast as possible as soon as you see your jungle take it Never let, leave it alone, you don't want anybody to steal it, especially your own teammates, it can be very questionable late game, they don't res the people is more often to not respecting goal late game, so always take it. I see this, this Warhawk, I use my punch to harass him for staying in place, and it works, he starts playing too aggressive. We got the kill, she's gonna die, I use my Bangor. It doesn't matter, and we got, I got a double kill, easy double kill. Although Easter is not very good, she's playing aggressive, and I can Bangor here. I get the cooldown on my B faster to punch more often. So that plays in my favor. Her playstyle is paying off. I see the Warhawk. I immediately punch him because I just do a lot of damage. And I ju I'm just harassing him. He's not doing anything to me. He's just trying to run away. I see Baron. I see my teammates are rotating. Alright. Sam Feng is trying to use his ult. I go for this Silver Nail. And Silver Nail gets this place. And he, Ringo just gets an easy kill. Warhawk tries to fucking ult and he just completely misses. I bang with the same thing and then he stuns the Taka and then I punch him. Really good trade. Then I use my ultimate to trap Baron and this Taka and it just fucking works perfectly fine for a team. We got a, a beautiful team fight right there. Terrible for Silver Nail, he fucked up early game and Taka fucked up trying to do something while Taka's teammates were empowering Sam Fang. Something that I want to tell you guys is that fucking Sam Fang with Aron is fucking toxic. As soon as you see fucking Sam Fang empower, you bangor that motherfucker and he cannot get punished. So we see this guy right here, I don't know what he was thinking. He tries so hard to fucking kill this lands. I mean Finn, and I just punch him and dead gone he just disappears something i really really like about this build the one punch Arden, one punch man Arden, is that this guy can take a, he can do a lot of damage to tanks and fucking squishes it's it's really like balance it's probably like the same amount of damage at the storm crown does the damage to the squishies while the storm uh, while the aftershock deals the damage to the tanks so it's always around the same damage this beautiful pool he's exposed and then i just punch him to death thanks to the enemy for hitting the vanguard fin i got my ultimate extremely fast so here we're trying to punish this land I immediately ignore the lance and I go for the misplaced Baron. I ulted him. I try to do some damage, but he had his flask. Sam Feng tries to use, I mean, to do something. I bang on him. It was not enough to get my cooldown. And then Baron just leaves. But it doesn't matter. We just completely almost kill him. It was very close. So we didn't lose much compared to the enemy team. So everything is going on alright. The team is fed. I already have I'm I'm starting to build a block just to be safe and to protect 
Ringo. Ringo just died because, you know, Taka. Taka is just annoying, piece of shit. I go, I try to rotate. Finn gets killed. I see Warhawk. I punch him and I kill him and then I just get away. Taka just completely ignores me. He just runs away. He just doesn't want to deal with me. He probably uh, was afraid that my teammates were around, which was not the case. But either way, that Taka is not capable of killing an Arden by himself. He might be able to kill him, but it will take him like forever. So my jungle just spawned, so I just take it really fast. Optimizations. I see the Ringo is rotating for his weapon power. So as immediately as this thing shows up, I start punching it. Not because I want to take it, just because I want the Ringo to be ready as soon as possible for the next fight. So as, as soon as he takes weapon power, we see all this gold here. I Vanguard the Finn to do some damage, and then I leave so Finn can take that fucking passive gold. We see this guy right here, and then I punch him. I really didn't have to punch him, but I just did it because because of the lulls, you know? If you see that someone's gonna die, it's better not to punch him. You want all that gold to go to your carries, because Arden really doesn't need it once he has the storm, the storm crown and the aftershock. So now we're starting to take objectives. It looks like the enemy cannot secure anything, they cannot set up any vision your objectives, so it's a great opportunity to take them. Lance has been a piece of shit, bot lane, he's split pushing, he's punishing us for being, uh, for rotating a lot. So I just want to get ready because I knew that Lance was going to try to run away, so I just walk, punch him to death, and then leave. Know that no, there's no fucking motherfuckers trying to do some funny shit. I immediately go back. Oh, she was she was dead. She was pushing too hard. And I'm, I'm here with the sank thing. This Finn just pulled this this guy from the outside of my gauntlet into the gauntlet. Fucking amazing Finn. And then we kill Taka. Easy, amazing, beautiful. Lance is here again. He completely ignores the Sang Feng for some reason. I don't know why. I Vanguard the Sang Feng so he cannot die. And then Sang Feng just gets harassed by him and I wasn't able to save him. I was gonna Vanguard him but it just didn't work. I was not fast enough. And then Baron tries to do something against me. I use my block. I knew he was gonna do that shit, so I immediately used my flask. Baron has nothing to kill my sustain, so it just doesn't matter. So we leave another day, ready to another battle, another team fight. So I go back to base to re regen some health. I get my crucible, and then I start preparing for an atlas. Like I say, the ultimate goes. Storm Crown, Aftershock, and then I get some, it depends of, of your teammates, but I like to get the water threats so I can help my teammates uh, engage or like leave, run away if they get misplaced. And once you get your damage items and your boots, I go Crucible, Atlas, and finally a fun why it helps you be it helps you uh, in your tankiness increases your barriers and it makes you a, like a really aggressive support you can take more damage and you're helping your teammates while doing burst so here we go she's here i see the taka i immediately use my gauntlet i wanted her to go inside to prevent taka from basically attacking her but she didn't do it i think she pulls it out I bind her again, she's playing aggressive, she dies, 
Brennan is going to kill me, and then as soon as this Ringo pops out, he's taking a lot of damage. I banger him, and then we just completely won that team fight. Just completely won that team fight. I was expecting the Easter again to go inside the gunplay to prevent Taka from basic attacking her. She didn't do it, so she took a lot of necessary damage. Still, she got the kill. We got the other kill, and then Ringo showed up and just finished Baron. Baron used his B to do damage to me, and he wasted that cooldown. So when Ringo showed up, he didn't have anywhere to go. I see these minions right here, and try to clean them up. I'm Arden, so instead of cleaning them all, I just try to clean some of them so I can just rotate to another to my jungle and actually take this jungle and leave that all those minions down there to someone else that actually needs the gold. I Bangor the Ringo so he, he can go faster, and then once I'm done with my goal, I go back and get ready for the next team fight. I already got my Atlas. The Atlas is very cheap, you should always get it as a nuff tank, it's really useful, especially when there's like someone who's doing a lot of damage, especially carries, carries can do a lot of damage, they can be pieces of shit sometimes, so it's really good to have a fucking Atlas, especially if it's very cheap, the same for the crossable. So now we're here again, I use my Bangor on, on Sam Fang, he does that shit, I move slightly, so I don't get uh, I, I don't get like silenced by the by the trap. Well, I still try to like use my gun my gauntlet, I mean my Bangor on him and threw the fucking trap and it didn't work. So that was kinda dumb. I bang on him while he's in power. I we kill the Warhawk. I use my ultimate to trap the lands but it didn't work. So instead we just got this amazing team fight and to be honest, Ringo stole all my kills. You were able to see that I punched them and then for some reason the game registered all those fucking kills as Ringo's kills, which is fucking dumb. I don't know why. And that was it. That's one punch orange. Amazing fucking build. Amazing teammates. And that's it. Those are the builds. As you can see they gave up. There was nothing they could do, especially the the fucking Taka. And yeah, see you guys later. That was it.